so all of the arms that are holding the rocket right now will retract once yeah. those solid rocket uh, boosters fire. Uh, that everything will be off of it, and, and, and it's moving. So GLS it's a real tedious to internal power. time. The rocket's core stage, which houses the three flight computers, is now on battery power. So there is no more hold wow. time available because there's no more margin on the battery. So if we hold, have a hold, we'd have to recycle back We're to done. T minus 10 minutes mm -hmm. and recharge those batteries. Oh. The count continues. A note now, shortly after liftoff, One minute. Shortly after liftoff, oh Mission Control God. Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Leah Cheshire, will take over commentary. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T-minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus two GLS seconds. Is go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. The space launch system is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. Again, 10. Hydrogen, Hydrogen burn off. Fires to burn off. Seven, four hundred thousand gallons five, of water. Four oh my God, start. guys! Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition and lift off <gasps> of Artemis One. We rise together, back to the moon and beyond. Oh, guys, it's going! Oh, look at all that. Five engines on the core stage and two solid wow. rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Oh, that's amazing. Carrying good, con good control. It looks so launch. much like a shuttle Mission launch Houston because of those solid so rocket far, boosters. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be for the vehicle. The same engines, the too. I'm just so and reminiscent of launch. Yeah. This is the greatest period. Now those solid rocket boosters are burning six tons of propellant per second. SLS now traveling 607 miles per hour. You're looking at 8.8 .8 million pounds of maximum thrust. Quiet here in the loops and mission control. Q is the uh, highest forcing on the vehicle itself. Now one minute, 21 seconds into the flight, that. traveling at 1,420 miles per hour. The four core stage engines are back at maximum thrust. Just spectacular. The next major milestone will be for the solid rocket boosters to cut off and jettison in about 2 minutes and 11 seconds into the flight, so about 30 seconds from now. Again, quiet here in Mission Control Houston as teams continue monitoring the flight of Artemis 1. We're now 16 miles downrange from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, traveling over 2,800 miles per hour. That's incredible. <laughs> Standing by for solid rocket booster jettison and shortly thereafter. Oh my. Spectacular. Oh my goodness. Confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 Perfect. foot boosters. Now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion, all four RS-25 engines firing, traveling over 3,400 miles per hour, 46 miles downrange. Wow. Two minutes and 36 seconds into the flight. Hearing nominal calls here in Mission Control Houston.